Good afternoon, cult members and Buckle Pop Culture Cult. This is Sean, and this is going to be a, a non-spoiler book review of Etherbound from E.K. Johnston. Um, now, I'm going to start off with uh, some 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 information, at least for me. Uh, uh, E.K. is actually one of my more favorite Star Wars authors. Uh, she's done both uh, Queen's Peril and Queen's Shadow books about Padme. Uh, she did the Ahsoka book. Uh, and, uh, and so I really like, um, her approach specifically to Padme, uh, but also Ahsoka. I actually like to see them maybe do more with the, um, uh, Ahsoka storytelling, at least in book form. Uh, I know we're getting a series, whatever. Well, that's, this is not a Star Wars, uh, podcast. Uh, but, uh, I really do like her approach specifically to Padme, uh, and what she's, uh, able to bring to someone uh, within the confines of knowing when that person's story is going to end. With all that being said, also, uh, this book isn't necessarily made for a middle-aged white male. Male. Um, it is definitely a young adult, young female uh, storytelling. Uh, uh, so um, it was not marketed for me. It was not uh, directed towards me. It wasn't written for me. However... I do like this book a lot. Uh, I listened to the audiobook. It's read by Ashley Eckstein, who uh, we all love uh, as the voice of Ahsoka Tano in the Clone Wars and Rebels series. Uh, and she was the one that read this book. Now, uh, the, the premise of the book is what if magic is how interstellar space travel is accomplished? And the ideas of using magic and the ether and how you manipulate electricity and wormholes and that kind of stuff. Uh, what if it was all magic based instead of just straight science? And for those of us who are uh, that dig the science part of the world, um, especially for somebody like me who really likes uh, like quantum physics and the idea of quantum realms and multiple realities and all that kind of stuff. The idea of science that we don't understand yet is magic. And so blending the two things that, that are known to be existing within their, and within this world and having them be um, a symbiotic relationship with each other is really cool. I really enjoyed that concept of, of this, uh, the basis of this book. Um, Ultimately, though, what this book for me was about was the idea of choosing your own destiny, not being, um, not being controlled by what previous generations and what previous um, uh, ruling parties and every all that kind of stuff tell the younger generations that they have to do. You were born into X class. You can only be X class for your entire life. Your kids will only be X class and they will never have the chance to move up or move down in whatever the society is. And that's what I felt this book was about. Um, it was choosing your own destiny, choosing to take your own path, even when um, impossible odds are, are set out in front of you. And the idea that you have, you are your own person and that you can create your own path because of your own personal talents, not talents that are controlled by somebody else, I really could connect with. Uh, I very much appreciate stories uh, about found family as well, but also the idea that, um, that you are not it, you don't have to adhere to what somebody else says that you are. Um, it is Pride Month here. In, uh, in, actually, I believe it's International Pride Month. Uh, and the idea of people who uh, choose to pick their own way in life, despite what their parents say or what society says, um, is very much an LBGTQ plus thought process. But it's also a young woman's thought process that uh, is put out there in front of the world. And that's specifically what the story is about. A young woman who has talents within the magical realm of this universe 
is told that her only worth is to do what she was made to do. And that was to make something else. And that she was never going to be allowed to be her own self, to fall in love with her own uh, on her own terms, to be able to make choices for her own body. And that uh, speaks quite deeply to me um, as somebody who sees the outside world, even in the 21st century, where they try to pe people try to do this to young people specifically, but young girls in total uh, now. And it just, uh, I just really felt that that was a, um, a cool story to do. Science fiction always does this. They tell these big uh, political, socioeconomic, um, gender, class stories wrapped up in a sci-fi bubble. So it's easily approachable. And now by the end, you've learned something. <sighs> Wait. Um, comics do it too. Uh, so I really, I really love the story overall. Uh, I like how E.K. Johnston um, leads you down this path of this story and you, in traditional terms, you see we're getting to this point in the story and that means we're going to get XYZ events are going to happen. And in this particular story, we didn't get XYZ, we got LMNOP, we got uh, WVZ, you, know, you know, like we were able to, uh, she was able to exert expectations, exert, that's sure, um, expectations by allowing the story to breathe on its own. And instead of having um, a big, big battle or having, um, uh, forced love triangle. Uh, there's a lot of acceptance of who everybody is within the story. And instead of having a big, bad evil who imposes their will throughout the book, uh, that big, bad imposing thing is um, PETA's own projection of how she was raised. And so I, I just, I, I really liked how EK was able to tell that story that way in, in, in that version. Ashley Eckstein is always fun uh, to listen to and, and see. And uh, with this particular story, uh, uh, Ashley doesn't have a ton of different voices like a lot of the other uh, audiobook listeners that we have, but she's able to give enough depth and differentiation between each of the voices to keep the character straight. And that's not always easy when you're doing an audiobook. Uh, keeping the you want to have you want to have different voices, but you also want you're also there to listen to the to the actual voice actor do the work. And and she was I I, I love listening to whenever she reads a book, and I thought she did a really well job, really good job with this. Overall, love the book, highly recommend it. Like I said, not marketed for me not made for me uh but i still found a lot of really good um storytelling process in this um i would love to see more in this universe and plot twist they definitely set up some more for this going forward so let us know what you thought of etherbound in the comments down below please be nice as a requirement around here let us know how you felt about our reaction to it as well like this video Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and follow us on all the social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And until next time, cult members, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.